Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hey folks, welcome back to another video. As you can see I plan to play a little bit with the jelly plate and I purely use my own masks and stencils this time just because I can. I mean that's actually something from the construction but those are stencils I made myself. Some I have cut by hand like this one I have cut by hand and others I did use uh, one of those electronic cutters. I have already an array of colors here which I plan to use. I have on the side some papers for the print off my roller and I have a 5 by 7 inch jelly plate. It's from the Jelly Arts but frankly it doesn't matter what. So I'm also working on a large sheet of paper. I'm gonna roll off my roller right onto the paper. Usually you see here my uh, non-stick mat but for jelly printing I like to work with this uh, sort of a drop paper and I'm gonna work in the Strathmore visual journal to play with the jelly plate. Okay let's dive in. I think I'm gonna start with... now I have to think about it. I want patterned areas for the ladies just in red and orange that sounds good to me. Maybe some. I'm gonna use the jelly plate more like a printing device than the usual put the paper on the jelly plate. So I'm gonna do it differently just to get some color going on. Now let's go on with some large dots. I just don't want to waste the paint that's on the stencil so I gonna print it onto my papers. And I usually don't clean my stent uh, my jelly plate in between. I just leave it as it is. Now that is a neon uh, color, it's a neon magenta, which means it's going to be rather transparent and I did it wrong. I wanted it like that. Now I'm done with the yellow reddish uh, paint. I'm gonna switch to the blue. Just try to pick up as much as from the yellow and the reddish as I can here without really cleaning it. Okay, make sure that my Roller has the right color too. Okay. Don't 
leave your stencil on the papers. <laughs> not a good idea. I'm not sure what the camera picked up, but I basically have started with uh, the blue green iridescent color. I have put on my masks. I have used those uh, repositional uh, glue dot just to make sure that those masks stay the whole time. I don't want them to move around while I put up layer on layer. And the phone was ringing and yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna pick that up and start over with the medium blue color. So far I have used this stencil and now I'm gonna go on with the dots but I do it the other way around then I did it with the red orange. I do have the paint everywhere and pick it up just onto the papers on the side so that I, that I have the other part that I have so to speak white dots and blue surroundings. I do hold on a little bit just so it doesn't shift too much. Now the last color I'm going to use is this uh, very covering matte high pigmentation uh, matte turquoise. It's from PBO. It's a rather new paint. So that's what I'm going to use next. Now, as a last step, I'm going to add some black triangles, but again, I rather want just the triangles and not the big areas around. So I'm going to first place the stencil and then spread the paint. I wanted to avoid. So I did play about an hour with the jelly plate including cleaning and all that stuff and that's what I have. I have several papers from the roll-offs and print-offs. Some are double-sided. That's the part of the drop paper I'm gonna keep for collage. Never underestimate those papers for collage. Now that what it is looking like now. Now we have to work on that for a little bit. So I'm gonna go along with the jelly roll pen. If it works, doesn't always work sometimes and but it actually seems to work pretty well just to enhance the figure a little bit. For that, the paint really has to be dry. Maybe I even go along the 
spike down so a little bit leaving a little bit of a border I have to go with the Posca pen. Add a quote, uh, but it's a little bit too dark for me, so I'm gonna go in with some gesso because gesso dries fast. And I'm impatient sometimes. So I did. Uh, write it down and try to do no errors. <laughs> it's not like you when you are writing like a letter or something, then you just write. But here you try to make nice letters and sometimes then you forget to add the right letters. And as usual I mix font and sizes. Now to make them even pop up more. I'm gonna widen them. So here we are. Try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. I think we all need some rainbow colors from time to time. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon again. Take care, bye!